For the first time in many years, all fresh and continuing senior high school students will begin the new academic year at the same time. The Minister for Education, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, who disclosed this in Kumasi, noted that management of the Computer Placement Center is working very hard to ensure that all qualified junior high school graduates are placed in their preferred second cycle schools to enable the successful candidates to verify their new schools in order to turn up in the second week of this month. Dr. Opoku Prempe was speaking at the National Delegates Conference of the National Association of Graduate Students, NAGRAT. The 12th National Delegates Congress of the National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, took place in Kumasi and was attended by accredited graduate teachers from across the country. Government proposed free senior high school program came under the spotlight with possible implementation challenges discussed. The president of NAGRAT, Christian Adai Poku, said the association is not against the proposed teacher licensing, but rather the shifting of the inherent cost on teachers or subjecting teachers to any form of examination before they are licensed. There are still outstanding issues yet to be resolved. And until the unresolved issues are settled, teachers cannot and will not be part of the implementation of the licensing. A former vice chancellor of the Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology, Professor William Utu Ellis, urged parents to prepare to bear their part of cost of educating the awards, irrespective of the free SHS. He entreated government to address any foreseeable problems that would come along with implementing the new. The Minister of Education, Dr. Martin Opoku Pompe, announced that for the first time, first year students will be given free textbooks for all four core subjects. According to him, the policy on teacher licensing, which has been spearheaded by the National Teaching Council, will be piloted in three selected districts, for which consultations before implementation are ongoing. There are teachers who are coming out. There are teachers who are in, and in every profession that I mentioned here, we all do continuous professional development. It is the continuous professional development that you don't do that you don't get license. It is not an example. 